this rabbit's presenting, the owner thought she had a seizure. It's okay, it's okay, it's all right, it's all right, it's all right. Sometimes rabbits will get inner ear infections and it's terrifying because you just constantly feel dizzy, you feel awful, the rabbit probably feels nauseous. I need to just jump right to the conclusion, but we see rabbits with head tilts all the time and we're gonna give her a little meclizine, which is Dramamine, that'll help just stopping her feel so dizzy. That'll at least help her start feeling better right away. Angie Diane's gonna mix that up for you, honey. It'll be all right. The head tilt is usually caused by an inner ear infection, and she's tilting her head to one side because she just has essentially vertigo. Hey, would you like to eat this? It's gonna make you feel better, honey. Mmm. Sometimes they are so dizzy that they can't stop spinning, and that's kind of what's been happening with Dawn. I know, you're so dizzy. It'll be all right. It'll be all right. I held her all day today until we could come here because laying her down, she just flails around because she can't stand up. It's very scary. We see a lot of this, and it's usually secondary to a rabbit having an inner ear infection, and it's something that's treatable. That's the first thing I want you to know. And I would say probably 80% of the rabbits make a full recovery. Some of the rabbits wind up with just a little bit residual head tilt. I've had dizzy spells, little bunny. Oh, it's scary to feel like this, I understand. Yeah, she does have some pus in her ear, and the eardrum's pretty cloudy. We were worried at the point that we were gonna have to bring her here to be put down. That's honestly, when we came here today, that was what our mindset was. We thought we've lost our girl of seven years. Dramamine kicking in? <laughs> she already seems a little calmer, That's about as mellow nice. as that, yeah. that rabbit ever gets. She's not yeah. exactly oh, well, a mellow she's, rabbit. I'll bet not, you're a female Dutch. Her brother's Mr. Calm, Cool, and Collected, uh -huh. and she is Miss Hell on Wheels. I can picture that. Our two really? rabbits have completely different personalities. Midnight, of course, he's black and she's golden. <laughs> they were from book characters. Midnight is like a cat or a dog. He'll sit on your lap and just loves to be stroked Cuddle. and loves to be loved. Whereas she's about energy. Attitude. Usually in this scenario, once we start them on the meclizine, which is essentially Dramamine. It's the same thing she yeah. takes for... It's what I take for vertigo. Oh, got it. <laughs> well, you know what it's like to have vertigo then. Very familiar. So it just makes you feel miserable. Mm -hmm. So we've already given her some meclizine to just help that kick in and get her to start feeling better. Obviously, we're going to need to start her on some antibiotics. But then there's a lot of other nursing care things that are going to be important. With her neck twisted over like mm -hmm. this, you can imagine it's uncomfortable mm -hmm. and will be getting cramped over a period of time. Mm -hmm. So part of the nursing care for her is actually ever so gently working her head straight and using a fair amount of pressure to gently massage the side of her neck. Okay. So with Dawn, it's gonna be dependent on a lot of nursing care. She needs to have her neck massaged. She needs to be in a padded area if she's rolling too much. She needs to have food put right in front of her because she won't be able to dizzily navigate over to her food bowls anymore. My technician, Diane, has two rabbits herself that have chronic head tilt issues. Mm -hmm. So I'm gonna have her be the one that does your med demo discharge. Okay, great. And she can talk to you about living with rabbits with head tilt and how doable it is and what you need to do for them. Just practical tips as one bunny owner to another bunny owner. Thing, okay? Fantastic. All Thank right. you so much. I no problem, it's a pleasure. Absolutely, really, absolutely. Really, really absolutely. Really appreciate it. Let me get everything written up for right. Nelson and Diane, okay? Thank, Thank you. Right. you. Yep. Yeah. I really got in the car today thinking we would come down here and we we're going to have to put her down, and we've had her for seven plus years. We're so to come here and to find out that that's not the case is, is unbelievable. It's overwhelming. Andy, Diane, I'll tell you how to tell your parents how to take good care of you. Oh my goodness! We often refer to Diane as actually the Dianometer. She is very tuned into our patients. I swear the woman knows what they're thinking and feeling, and her gut instinct is definitely to be trusted. She is tuned in. Hey, hey, here's a girl. How are you? Here's my baby. Here she is. Here, will your mom? Hi, sweetheart. Get your meds ready for you. Unfortunately, the thing is, it's just going to take time. I mean, yeah. sometimes it can take a couple months for them to kind of get their balance back. Sometimes it happens very quickly. But the main thing is just stick with it. Okay. Yeah. So I do have two head tilt bunnies myself, Koji and Turbo. They have been like that since they were little. So even though their heads are a little tilted and they look at the world a little differently, they live very happy lives and they do everything a rabbit does. So there's the two of them together. <laughs> Both tilted. Yeah, oh, exactly. Funny. What we have to do is find the way to mostly live a normal life with what could be a permanent disability. Thank you so much You're for your welcome. Help. Good luck. Thank All you. All right, baby girl, you ready to go home? She'll spend a lot of time with me, and she'll just get very mom-intensive care. Let's head on up. All right, baby.